things are really changing in Pakistan and I believe in South Asia and the world too compared to when I got into this field 35 years ago. Um, 35 years ago, in rural areas especially, people didn't even know often what a school was. And it was, if they had heard of schools, it was something that's for other people, richer people, not for us. Now, everywhere I go, even the most remote areas, e even where the whole village is illiterate, they know about school, they want it. They want school for their children. They want a better life for their children. I've been in a lot of focus group discussions where, where we just sit on, on the floor in someone's hut, and of course, through a translator in my case, we get the women to talk about their lives and their dreams. And I always ask the same question everywhere in the world at some point, and that is, if you could have one thing for your daughter that you didn't have for yourself, what would that be? Now, unlike in other countries, the only answer I get to that in every village in Pakistan is school. And, and the whole group of women will say it together, school, school. Now, when access, as, as Penny said, and attitude change and quality are all important, but in, in for, the, for the most of the millions of out-of-school children in Pakistan, we don't even have the basics of access, but now we have the attitude change. And I've also talked to women and uh, mothers and fathers, and even uh, a few grandmothers, who said, oh, you know, when I was young, we didn't know that school was a thing for girls. We thought school was a thing for boys and home was a thing for girls. But now we understand that's not the case and, and that girls can go to school. So could you please help us in our village have a school where girls can go? Now when they say have a girls where school to go, it's a traditional culture and they're not talking about mixed education and co-ed education. And they're very, very worried that that school should have a boundary wall so that passers-by, especially men, can't look in and scope out their daughters. They're very worried that there should be a female teacher and that that female teacher should not be beating their daughters. Basic fundamental things. We want a boundary wall and we want a female teacher who won't beat our daughters. So the attitude shift is there, but we need to work on the poverty question and the access, first of all.